Okay, so we're getting ready to um, just start uh, putting the evaporator core and the heater core back into the box here. <clears throat> I've just kind of cleaned the box out with compressed air and I've also blowed the fan out. There was a lot of leaves and junk down in there. <clears throat> I just kind of cleaned this out a little bit. And here's, uh, here's the old uh, evaporator core. And this car is uh, pushing, you know, close to 200,000. So this is what they start looking like. You know, so there's no filter to block any of that stuff. And um, also uh, with my new, here's the new one here. It didn't come with these uh, little foam seals. So I had to take those off of that one. And uh, luckily they had enough stickiness that they just stuck back to this one. So um, we're just getting ready just to set this in here. It's pretty straightforward. You know, you just peel this thing back a little bit and we're just gonna take and stick that back to it. And it's got enough stickiness on this that we won't have to worry with that. But the main thing is just um, get it seated down in there and make sure that you got the seals on there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna set our evaporator in and then we'll get over here and we'll get our heater core next. Now there's a piece right here that splits this piece of foam. And this is off of the old one. And uh, we're just gonna slide that right onto this one right here before we but it just, I mean, it just sets right down in there. Just very simple. And that's just slipped on there. And that's all there is to that. And same thing with the heater core. This thing just pulls right up and out of here. And uh, I've got the new one. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to do <clears throat> when I pull this out, I'm going to just make a mark to where the hose is. Uh, which is pretty you know pretty much common sense but I'm just gonna make sure that I just get them positioned back right so we're just gonna go ahead and pull this out of here and uh, the new um, heater core actually it doesn't come with this foam on there but they have some in the box so it's just got a self adhesive back to it and we can just stick that on there just like they got it here Okay, and here's the new new heater core. Um, I really wasn't impressed. Um, I really, when I when I ordered this, the one in the picture looked like the OEM, and this one doesn't look anything like the um, the original. And it's actually like all aluminum. It's got like aluminum tubes under here instead of the copper, but. Um, <clears throat> Just gonna have to go ahead and go with it. Hopefully it'll it'll be good. Cause I mean the one that I ordered um, looked like this one, and this brown one is the original. But you know it's got close to two hundred thousand on it, so we've got to change it out. So yeah, the first thing I've just took this foam piece and took it off there and just pushed it back past those nubs, the piece that goes to the firewall and uh, I'm just gonna put the foam just like they have it on this uh, original one so around just a strip down the top and then all around this uh, perimeter right here we're gonna go around all around that with some foam and we'll just go ahead and get this uh, new one set in there and just uh, like I said be careful with your fins it's easy to damage these I haven't even taken the cardboard off yet, but I'm going to have to take it off to get my foam on here here in just a minute when I put the strip down through here. So they just be careful with it. Okay, so I noticed on the original, they just have the strip of foam going across here. But with, uh, with the new one, they provided enough to go all around. 
and completely around this side. So that's what I did. So we know it'll be completely sealed off when it when it sets in here. It's going to be sealed on the the top and the bottom. So we're just getting ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna take and uh, clean that out a little bit there. I'd forgotten to blow that out, and we're just gonna go ahead and get this set back in there now. Okay, something that I realized when putting this back, this little plastic piece comes with the uh, replacement for whatever reason. It covers those coils there. Now with the original, you'll notice no plastic cover on those. Well, when I started putting this in there, I realized that this was taking up too much room and this wasn't wanting to seat in here properly. So I just took I just took that off of there and just set it down in there without it. So with that out of there, it seems to it seems to be setting in here like it's supposed to. So don't really know. Um, it just it was just a little bit too tight with that on there. So I'm just going to leave it off and uh, hook it up here and see what happens. But like as far as we got the the evaporator core and this is all all done and. The only other thing I'm going to do, um, I may put a little bit of light grease in here where these little doors swing like here and here. And then I may may put just a little bit right here where this door sits so just to make it a little bit, a little bit better so those slide around easier. But other than that, this uh, lid's pretty much ready to go on here. Okay, so when putting this together, we're just going to make sure that this door is setting where it's supposed to be there. We're going to make sure that these doors go in to those little holes there where they need to sit and seat into. So other than that, it's nothing real critical, but we're just going to make sure that all that goes together properly and go ahead and get this lid set on here. Okay, so we've set the lid back on. We've made sure that it's not binding anywhere. And we're also testing out these cables here a little bit. Just gonna make sure that things are still working and moving freely. <clears throat> so we can twist this. You can also move move all your cables a little bit in and out just to make sure that everything is working like it should and that nothing's in a bind. So um, remember this vacuum goes in underneath that. We have to feed that back under there. And we're just going to go ahead and start getting all of our screws back in here at this point and uh, I'll get some glue I got some spray glue and we'll just stick back any of these that need some adhesive okay so we've gotten all the screws around the perimeter we should have <coughs> four areas uh, We'll have four screws left. Uh, one will go here and here and then here and here and that's just to do this top piece here. So if you put those screws in there and those you'll have to take them back out to put this on. So we're going to go ahead and get those four holding this piece and that should be all the screws we have left and then just route this little red vacuum back up here and connect it to that. Okay, and the only other thing I've done here is I've just put these hoses back on because I'm going back in with them. And like I said, very easy to put these on out here. Um, and so when we push it through from 
inside all I have to do is is connect these just way easier now it's always a concern with um, these old hoses you know once you disturb them they want to leak you know if that be the case I'll deal with it then um, but I didn't get any new ones because these just don't look really too terrible but you know it does happen a lot of times you disturb them they start leaking now a lot of times what I'll do is just get a regular hose clamp and uh, go back and clamp it with one of them or double clamp it or something but anyways we've um, we've got all of our screws in and everything at this point and uh, the only thing that I've got left to do now is just get me some spray adhesive and put a little bit here and like I said you see me put grease inside there I'm gonna take a little bit and put a little extra right here as well on that so when you get this back should look something like this all of your little vacuums should be in their spots it should be routed over here and run back through like this so that's all I've got to do here and uh, we'll be ready to to start putting this back in the car okay and we got our HVAC box all sitting here and we're just getting ready to go back in with it and we're just going to be lining up our three studs through the holes in the firewall and then making sure to get our drain back on there and there's a little rubber piece there looks like we'll have to slide on from the other side so we're just going to go ahead and get this in okay and I should also point out on the bottom of your box this little duct right here has got to connect to that so be careful with that and make sure that you get that set, seated back on there properly when we get this set in okay when putting this back in it's not going to just go right into place it uh, it takes some wiggling and maneuvering and i had to you need to kind of make sure the bottom is tilted or the back is tilted upwards and you know to get those uh, studs and that drain hole lined up now i also had to remove this little duck because it kept wanting to hang up on uh, this bracket here so I had to remove that and reattach that to make it a little bit easier but my hoses went through just like I pulled them out <clears throat> and so now we're just going to go over to the firewall and start putting our our uh, 10 millimeter nuts and hooking our hoses back up okay I've attached my heater hoses right back here I've put this little vacuum canister back on of that black vacuum hose and I'm going to be putting it right back on right there okay so we're getting ready to put our first 10 millimeter and it is right there okay and now for our next one which is right underneath this overflow tank and it's just right there where that hose feeds into the bottom. Okay, now we go right below where, see our dryer, or uh, where our dryer is gonna hook to the evaporator there. And we come right down here and we'll see that one right there. That's our last 10 millimeter nut. Okay, so then we have the little plastic piece that you see right there and we just have to slip that right back over that stud this is the little rubber drain downspout you just squeeze this with your fingers and we're just gonna we're just gonna put that right back on our drain down in there and of course it's way down there you can see I can't get this to really focus Okay, so I've got a new dryer and you'll need to take this um, old pressure switch off of there and put this on your new one. It didn't come with it. Okay, so I'm getting ready just to set the dryer 
back into place and I'm going to get it down in here before I remove that tape and before I remove the plugs here just to minimize any extra moisture getting in here so basically like I took it out I just kind of wiggled it right down through here when I took the old one out so I'm going to do the same thing putting this one in I'm just going to work it right down and through here and get it into position and there's a um, if you can see that right down there there's where it uh, has to bolt and uh, I'm not for sure what size that is but I'll need to loosen that off because it goes right through there so I'll need to get that removed okay the that's a T30 that goes through that and because of where it's located right there where you see if I can point to it right there um, it's hard to get to so you're gonna need a stubby T30 because the alternator is right there and uh, I got it loose and just kind of got it the rest of the way by hand okay so I've just kind of worked my dryer down in there and now I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the plugs and that tape off of the um, evaporator there and we'll go ahead and get our screws our uh, bolts here we've got the two the two T30s and we can get them started by hand just by using the a little extension and our T30 um, and then we'll once we get that we can go ahead and get our lines hooked back up but we're just gonna uh, carefully get in there now and get that rebolted up to our evaporator there uh, and after we get that we'll also get our bolt um, going into the firewall right there it goes into that little rubber grommet piece okay so I got that lower bolt there holding the dryer and now I'm just getting ready to reattach this pressure switch here and we're just gonna go ahead and get our hoses back on here we've got taped and plugged the big ones gonna go on the bottom and then we're gonna get the smaller one on the top here okay so we've just put our lines back on and retighten these 13 millimeters and I just wanted to point out that the dryer came with seals on it already that um, connected to the evaporator and to these lines but make sure that yours has the seals on there um, so we've got this here finished up we're just going to get ready and go back to the inside and start working on that we've got um, a nut and a bolt to put on in there okay and after getting everything connected um, under the hood we're back inside here and we just have we have this 10 millimeter right here and then we've got this bolt it's a 10 millimeter remember we just pull this back right here and that just goes right down through there and we can just tighten that so we're going to go ahead and do that now okay so i started setting the dash back into place I've got my cables fed right back through there so you come below that vent on the right it feeds right through there and also the vacuum <clears throat> my wire that goes back to this module right here it has to go underneath this right here not a big deal and then we've got this here coming under here for this um, cigarette lighter okay right now I've just connected these two connectors that are right back here to this main harness and there are the little latches and I've just got the white and the gray now this here was already broken previously is why this is kind of hanging down out of the way this is the fuse box but that is the first thing that I've done is just got those two that were over here and I've done nothing else. Uh, another thing 
this um, key lock, make sure you get it routed right through here when you're putting this back together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just work on connecting a lot of these right now. Now I've got this white connector right here that, that comes down from that harness. And we're just gonna push that into place and then lock that tab. Okay, I'm just connecting this connector that goes through to the door here. And remember it goes back onto this piece of metal here. It's got a little tab. And we're just gonna put that back on there. Okay, and we've got this connector with this safety lock and it's going right there. Okay, now you should have this wire hanging out and that goes to, um, it's our mirrors or something there, but just, anyways, just leave that. Okay, and right now I'm connecting this little white piece here. It's for the interface and it just goes up and over and through this piece of metal back into here. And it'll only go one way. Okay, and there's that interface. Just pop back in there. Okay, and here we have this little harness that goes to this module here. I'm just routing it back. And it was just kind of sitting on these tabs here like that and we're just going to get that reconnected and then we also have a ground that connects right here and I'm not seeing it at the moment but we're going to go ahead and connect this run this wire back to here and then this bulb is going to go right up into that Okay, so put your ground back there and then lock that safety lock back onto that. And then we've got this back where it's supposed to go. Like I said, we're gonna push this bulb right back up into here. Okay, I've reconnected this green connector here and we've locked the safety lock back on that. We've reconnected our antenna here and we're just going to be reconnecting this and I've got some tape on it here I need to get off okay now we're just connecting these two gray ones here and it's also going to have the metal clip that goes right back on to that metal right there I pushed in this red connector going up to the pillars Okay, um, I got ahead of myself. This vent here, I'd actually forgot to put back on. So before we can put the 13 millimeters, start bolting it down, make sure and don't forget that piece that goes back on our HVAC box. Said it wasn't no big deal. I just had to pull it forward just a little bit to slide it in there, but it goes into these and then it locks down onto that box there. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I said get the nuts on here first onto the stud there okay we've got these 13 millimeters tightened on both sides I'm gonna get under here where you see the pink paint we're gonna put the two bolts in right there okay we're down here at the center console and we're gonna put them two in there don't tighten anything until you get all of your bolts in by the way I said we've got these two and then there's two more exactly like it on the other side so we've got four of them all together okay getting ready to put the four uh, 10 millimeters up here in the dash on the top part okay I'm just going ahead and putting this gauge cluster up here for now okay so we're getting ready to put the steering column back in I've slid it down onto the the shaft there and put some Loctite back on this. And uh, you'll remember it's got the nut that stays on there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this slid through and start tightening it. Also, I had a mark on it as well. I can't really show you right now. There's so much stuff in the way here, but we have the mark on it right there. And I'm just getting ready to put this uh, bolt back in. 
Okay, and we're installing these four 13 millimeters right under the steering column and just lining all that back up. Okay, so we got that connected and right now we're just going to work on getting our wires reconnected to our steering here. Okay, so this is how these are going to route. Remember we had a zip tie on this and we've got this gray one going right here and I've got all these numbered by the way which is a good idea and that one's going to go right here and then underneath we have this one going to this and then we've got this one going right over here like I said I had all those numbered so it's going to connect just like that and then we're also going to get this back up here in just a second and then we're going to remember to put a zip tie back there. Okay, back to this key lock. Remember we had the little connector here that plugs into this. Just like that. Okay, and if you look right there on that piece of metal, in other words, you come under the steering column, see your wires right there, back over towards the center console there's a spot right there that that little white plastic clip goes into and you'll have to get your key back in and turn it to be able to get that yellow and it just pushes right back in there like that okay so I've just reconnected this module right here and so the dash is all tightened down so I'm just going to start working on getting some stuff back in here. We'll go ahead and start um, getting our climate control back in and some other things and probably the airbag. All right, I've just pushed that clip back into the airbag there and then we're just going to push this yellow locking part back down. And this just gets set into place. Remember they've got the two nuts underneath that bolt to it as well as the screws going around it there okay and just slides back onto these nubs we're going to get our screws in here okay so we're under here retightening these 13s for the airbag as well okay i'm getting ready to connect this climate control we're going to do the bottom one first it just lips under there like that and we flip it over and we're going to move our marks up to where they go back up here and get our clamp on there all right now I've just slipped in this top little cylinder into here and reattached this top clamp so we're ready just to reconnect our wire connectors here all right we've just reconnected these two vacuums to the back here all right so I've just connect the cigarette lighter and then these connectors and push those safety locks down We'll just push this back into place. There's also the little wire under here that goes to this little part right here that pushes back under. All right, so just reconnected the radio and the antenna here. All right, so I got the one connector on the top of this climate control here. Just push in and lock that. And this is just going to go to our uh, window switch. So we should be ready to go ahead and get, uh, see we may go ahead and work on this piece underneath here. Okay, so I've just put the bulbs back in this trim piece that goes on the dash here. We're just gonna set this back into place. All right, so I'm just getting ready to stick the side panel back on. Remember we've got the connector right there that's gonna go into that for those mirrors. All right, so I'm just putting the two screws right there for that panel. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to put this dash piece down up here now and we'll put it back in just, you know, like we took it out with the little prongs going in there. Okay, so we just got the two screws back in here for the dash and now we're going to get our bezel set back into place here and make sure to get our little connector pulled back up for our window switches and just put your screw right back in the center there and tighten that down. 
just connecting our window switch and just locking that. Just snap it back into place. Okay, just getting this side panel and you just work it in that there before you get it onto this. Okay, and get your two screws back in here and then we're just going to go ahead and put this glove box back in. So just very simple, just clips in there and just lifts up. Just push your little side tabs in to get your glove box back up. I'm just snapping my little steering cover back into place here and we're going to get the screws back into that. We've got two of them. I'm just getting ready to put my pillar pieces back down in their place. So, so you got the two tabs there and then those little plastic pieces go down into that dash piece up there. Okay, so we're getting ready to set this center console piece down in. We just got four screws and a switch in the back. And then we got this cigarette lighter. We're gonna make sure that we hook that up first. Okay, now we're just gonna put the switch on the back right here and snap it back into place. Okay, so there we got the black to black and the gray to gray. And then it just pops right in. Okay, so the only thing we got left here is our little kick panels. And we're going to get the one here first, and then this one, and it's the same exact thing on the other side. And they just pop down into these little, little plastic slots. Okay, and there's those into place. Like I said, we'll just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so when you're doing these kick panels, make sure that it does go underneath this, or it won't snap down right. Okay, and uh, that's everything as far as we've got everything back together. Um, under the hood and in here and now that's uh, nothing left but to just to test everything out and make sure everything's working I have some more work to do to this car I'm uh, you know gonna have to evacuate the AC and everything so it'll be um, be a little bit before I get that done but uh, that should conclude all of this and uh, hopefully it's been helpful and uh, thank y'all for watching